my fascination, my fascinating Zambia experience, visiting the magical Shiva mansion. It was 1979 and I was 29 years old. I met Lady Laura Gora Brown in London in the summer of 1977. She was a vibrant, engaging, and full of life, 68 years old. And I was 27 years old. We connected beautifully as we strolled down around London. She was like a grandmother that I never had. And I was like the grandson she wished she had. She also introduced me to her granddaughter, Penelope, with whom I became very close friend and who later on also visited me in Israel and we rode my Vespa and she helped me with the fish ponds. As an attached video that follow this uh, presentation, it's called The Curse of the African House Details. Lady Laura Brown was the wife of larger than life, Stuart Gore Brown, also known as Blackheart as he was called by the Zambians. He was a British soldier, pioneer white settler, British lord, politician, and rare British white supporters of the new independence in Zambia in 1964. When he died in 1968, independent Zambia celebrated the first white man funeral, which was kind of so unusual. He was also a close friend and colleague of Zambia first president, Kenneth Kaunda, and served as the only white man, as you can see in the picture, in the new Zambian African National Congress. It was like, who heard about something like that? Hearing the numerous stories about the huge, famous, Shiva mentioned, which was also called the last bastion of British colonialism, presented in details in the attached video, I was determined to visit Shiva Palace, or what they called colonial dream, especially after I learned that the Queen of England has visited, it came on the small runway and visited Shiva House herself. Uh, a good excuse to uh, to come to this magic mansion that is in the next video in the summer of 1979 was for me to study and advise the fishery potential of the natural nearby lake called Shiva Nandu, or the lake of the crocodile, of the royal crocodiles. So it was like an amazing visit to the last bastion of British colonialism. And the video is like incredibly detailed about the phenomenal of this palace.